Hi everyone, my name is Emily Turpak and I am a realtor in Philadelphia and the surrounding suburbs in Pennsylvania and South Jersey. One of the reasons why I love Philly real estate is just how many types of houses there are. See, in places like New York, you mostly either live in a townhouse that costs millions of dollars or you live in a condo. Those are really your two options. So when people are new to Philly, I cannot wait to show them everything that this city has to offer. So in this video, I'm going to go through the different types of houses that you can buy in Philadelphia and where to find them. The first type of house is a row home. And unless you are on a corner, you're typically going to be butted up against neighbors on both sides of you. Now there is a misconception that because they touch one another, that there must be an HOA fee. However, that is not the case. Your front facade can be detached from your neighbors if needed, let's say you're doing work, and your roof is completely separate. Now, row homes can be found in every single neighborhood in Philadelphia. And like every other home in the world, they vary in size. Width wise, most row homes are between 14 and 15 feet wide. Anything over 15 feet wide is considered wider. And most row homes are two stories, but you'll also find plenty of three-story row homes as well. And I would say the average row home is three bedrooms, but you will also find two bedroom houses and even the occasional one bedroom row house. There are also four bedroom houses, but they tend to be new or newer construction row homes, which we'll get into next. The second type of home that you'll find in Philly is new construction. This is usually either a condo or a row home. So in Philly, they have something called a 10 year tax abatement. Essentially, it reduces your property taxes for 10 years. This was put in place to promote new development in the city and it worked. Developers took advantage of this knowing that there was now going to be an increase in demand from buyers for new construction properties. A lot of new or newer construction row homes are three stories high, have about three to four bedrooms, a finished basement, and a full length roof deck like you see here. So where to find these properties? Well, new construction row homes are really scattered throughout the city, but I find that there are pockets where they're more prevalent than others. So if you are interested in new construction, I would really start your search in Fishtown, Old Kensington, Point Breeze, Brewery Town, and Roxborough Maniunk. The third type of home that you will see in Billy is a twin. A twin is where one of your walls is connected to a neighbor and the other side is freestanding. Similar to a row home though, these houses are not part of an HOA just because they're technically connected. A twin is really for someone who wants more elbow room, but doesn't necessarily have to have a single family home. And the two areas in Philly that probably have the most twin homes are West Philly and Mount Airy. Also, do not have the mindset that twin homes are small. A lot of these twin homes are even larger than single family homes that you can find in the city. Take these twin homes, for example, they're both over 3,000 square feet. Now let's segue into single family homes. They actually do exist in Philadelphia, but more on the outskirts, such as Chestnut Hill, Mount Airy, Roxborough, Maniunk, and West Philly. Here is a collage of various single family homes throughout those very neighborhoods. As you can see, there is a ton of variation in terms of the style of home, as well as the square footage. And in terms of pricing, you'll see that single family homes are the most expensive, then twin homes, and then row homes. Basically, the more privacy you have and the further away from your neighbors you are, the more costly it's going to be. And the fifth and final type of house that you can buy in Philly is a condo. This can either be a larger elevator building that has amenities such as a gym or a door person, but it could also be you know, a converted warehouse, which tends to have this more industrial vibe. Um, and, it, and it also could look like a row home from the outside, but actually be two to three units on the interior. 
So if you're interested in a condo that's an elevator building with all the amenities, then I would consider either Center City or Washington Square West. But if that's not your cup of tea and you don't need the amenities, then you'll most likely be drawn to condos that are located in Old City, Northern Liberties, Fishtown, Old Kensington, or Fairmount. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tap that like button and click here to subscribe. And for more videos, click here and here.